I think mother was glad to see me do something rather than marry. Yeah. She was a real <laughs> feminist, and she thought, you know, move yeah. on. Well, did she actually carry placards and get arrested and all yes, those yes. things? That's how I picture yes, yes. her from what yes, I've read. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, have, you, uh, have you been encouraged by the women's movement to get out on the streets and uh, carry the signs? No, because we did that, you know, a very, very long time ago. Yeah. And... Uh, it, I, th I think that is a, a strange situation because women and men simply are not the same. Mm -hmm. They're just not the same. Yeah. And uh, women, unfortunately, have to bear the children. Yeah. And what are you going to do with them? And I think they're, they're men who are all the same and all well. And uh, <laughs> then there are, there are uh, women like me yeah. who have lived like men. Knew what you wanted. Well, I knew that it. I was brought up in a big family, and I was brought up great, just yeah. brought up great. I had a fascinating be. mother, yeah. a fascinating father, and a wonderful childhood. How I really you? did. And I have a wonderful family now, and I have my roots in the same place that I was brought up, and I'm extraordinarily lucky, you but, know, and that's just luck. It's just luck. It? It's just luck. That's the thing about you, you know. I have a feeling that millions of people think the following about you. She knows how she wants to live her life. She succeeded at it. It's all worked out. She got what she wanted. And they feel that you probably have some guiding principles, some secret, that if only they knew them, they could be as successful and, and as content as you seem to be. Uh, but you say it's luck, that there aren't two or three rules. No, I, or... well, I think it's in the first place, it's lucky if you have an intelligent and brilliant and inspiring father and mother. Yeah. And it's lucky if you've uh, had experiences before the age of 15, which treat you, which teach you, excuse me, which teach you not to be afraid because fear mm -hmm. is what we all suffer from. I mean, fear is what you and I suffer from trying to be fascinating, which is an asinine position to be in, you know, really. <laughs> Here I am, and aren't I great department, and it's embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you're never sure that you can do it. But if, if you're, if you have been taught basic freedom from fear and a basic um, uh, belief in what you're doing that is sufficient to carry you when uh, everyone in his uncle thinks you're wrong, yeah. and you still think, well, God damn it, I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm right, and I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Or if you're, you know, sort of uh, inspired by something, for instance, doing this. Now, I disapprove of doing this. I think the story yeah. of my life is, uh, you know, I, I, how the hell could I tell the story of my life? I can't tell you the things and wouldn't think of it that have made me do this or this or this at certain periods mm -hmm. uh, 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 because then I would be uh, fixing it so that you knew my secret. Yeah. And my secret is what pushes me on and each one of us has a secret, you know, and you go to mom talk and you try to rebuild your secret and I yeah. go to the mouth of the Connecticut River in my childhood and, and I try to rebuild mine all to give us confidence to to push on. Mm -hmm. Now, I say lucky because I was born with um, energy. Uh, I was, uh, I uh, was lucky to be born uh, uh, with a combination of qualities that were apparently interesting in the early 30s when I began to sort of look around and be noticed. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, even before that, uh, you know, when I was a kid in a golf tournament and I sunburned a lot and got blisters and I had to have two caddies, one to carry an umbrella, and I, you know, I'd get the headline on the sport page, Hartford Youngster. Do you know what I mean? I was just lucky mm -hmm. to apparently be colorful. And you have this thing about being able to conquer fear. Do, do you have a lot of fear, though? Does it scare you to start yes, a new Yes, I think, it, I think it, starts, it, it terrifies anybody yeah. who's intelligent to do anything. Mm -hmm. I think I've been absolutely petrified all my life, and as I'm totally one track, I look at the thing and just hope I'm going to drop dead before it happens. <laughs> How I ever opened in Coco, I don't know. And in the lake yeah. in 1933, which I uh, came back to kind of punish myself because I have a sort of Puritan streak and think 
uh, you know, if it hurts, it's doing you good, or if it's hard, it's better for your character, or some cuckoo thing. Bill's character. Bill's character, you know. And I had hit it lucky in the movies, and I had a wonderful part, a wonderful director, and an angel, Jack Barrymore, who just would push me toward the camera in a part that everybody had made a hit in. I was just lucky, you know. I mean, how the hell can you call it anything else? Yeah. A lot of people will be damn glad to know that you've been afraid of things because they, you sometimes well, give the impression... Well, I think the whole human that, race is petrified. Yeah. I'm a good cover-upper. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a message. We'll be right back. <laughs> 